coming to you from the Star of Zion, WSOZ, the Star in Motion. We are here on site at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in New Orleans, Louisiana, for the 2016 Winter Meeting of the Christian Education Department of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. I have here with me Reverend Clarence Jackson, a member of the Philadelphia Baltimore Annual Conference. Reverend Jackson, if I understand correctly, this is your first time attending the Winter Meeting, correct? That's correct. But you have been a Zionite all your life. Precisely. Awesome, awesome. So please tell me, if you could, in a few words, what have you gleaned from this meeting thus far that has re-energized you and empowered you to go back to your church and be about the business of Christian education and go beyond the bounds um, in the Christian Education Department for the 2016 year? Uh, this opportunity has allowed me a chance to see our church grow uh, from our young people um, I believe that wherever there are young people or babies, that things are growing. And so I'm excited about this. Um, what I have experienced here uh, thus far has allowed me to share with um, Baltimore and other places that we can indeed go beyond the bounds, not just in our local church, but in our civic organizations, in our ability to educate the masses. Uh, going beyond the bounds is Christian education as a whole. And so it is an amazing opportunity to see this. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to come and talk with us here at the Star of Zion. Also, today is our college rally day, and if you wouldn't uh, mind telling us, Reverend Jackson, what is your alma mater? <laughs> uh, Dr. W.E.B. Dubois said that this school had the potential to be the Harvard of the South. And what school would that happen to be, Reverend? Livingstone College. Livingstone College Living in Salisbury, in North Salisbury. Carolina. North awesome, Carolina. awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us here at the a Star of Zion, another fellow Livingstonian. And that is it here in New Orleans, Louisiana, the 2016 Winter Meeting for the Christian Education Department Beyond the Bounds. The Amy Zion Church is present on five continents, and we have persons from all over the world here enjoying ministry beyond the bounds. I have here with me now a group from North Carolina. Young lady, would you like to introduce and tell us where you are from? Thank you. We are members of Little Rock Amy Zion Church in Charlotte, North Carolina, where our pastor is Dr. Dwayne Anthony Walker. Amen, amen. And as you remember, we were just with Dr. Walker earlier today as he's offering himself as a candidate for bishop. We're coming from everywhere, from all generations, coming to do the work of kingdom building beyond the bounds. You saw it here at WSOZ News. We are so honored here at WSOZ to be on site for the Young Adult and Christian Ministries event here, the Meet, Eat, and Greet with the Episcopal Candidates under the stellar leadership of our chairperson for our uh, Young Adults and Christian Ministries, Sister Lakeisha Womack. Sister Womack, let me first thank you for taking time out of your I know busy schedule to sit here with us at WSOZ and our viewers. Would you in so many words share with our viewers uh, some of the great things that they can see coming from the leadership of Yakum and how they, they will be empowered and equipped from this meeting going forward to go beyond the bounds of kingdom building. I'd love to and thank you all so much for having me um, on W's SOZ. That's right. Got it right. Yay. Um, one of the great things that I think will come out of this meeting is our 2016 resource guide. In the past, we've published monthly challenges, and it was a little frustrating to people getting the information late or getting it right at the beginning of the month. So we will have a download where people can plan their ministry for the entire um, 2016 with monthly challenges, lots of information, a calendar of events, not only happening in the AME Zion Church, but events happening with the AME Church, the CME Church, churches uniting in Christ and the World Methodist Council. Awesome, awesome. And we are so proud how well you represent us ecumenically and the leadership. As I said before, viewers, young adults are rising all across Zion to posts of leadership and offering themselves to be of greater service to God. Uh, this year, there have been a, quite a sweeping number of young adults who have been elected to be delegates to the General Conference. Could you, uh, just in a few more words, tell us uh, the essence of this event and what was behind that and the importance of young adults 
now being at the table when it comes to selecting the future leaders of our denomination? Oh, sure. Um, Reverend Javen Leach actually had the idea because we wanted to do something with the candidates, as is our tradition, but we didn't want to have a canned event where the candidates sit on a stage and we ask them questions and they give the canned responses. So at this event, each candidate will go to um, the different tables and they'll have a chance to have conversations with the young adults at that table for about five minutes. And it gives the young adults a chance to hear from the candidates directly, and it also gives the candidates a chance to hear what's on the minds of the young adults. I do believe that as we are the future leaders of this church, that it's imperative that we have a say in who the, um, who the leadership of our church is and that they know who we are. So we're very excited for this opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sister Womack, for taking time to be with us here at WSOZ. You heard it here, folks. WSOZ News is starting in motion.